Hello, my name is Kubash Tendera and I will be talking about snap deals. Snap deals are lightweight sector updates. So let's start. Why are we even introducing this thing? Uh, committee capacity sectors currently represent 99% of Falcon's 12 exabytes of storage. Committee capacity sectors are not storing any data. They are just miners signaling that they are committing to storing some data in the future. Currently, the available pathway of updating capacity sectors to sector storing data is equivalent to seal a new sector. So many miners choose to instead seal a new sector. This is the primary drawback of the current update system, and it's it we are trying to uh, improve it. Also, sealing is a, a sealing a sector is very high latency pr process. Uh, we can reduce the latency and the system by uh, using an existing replica, existing sealed sector, instead of sealing a new one. So what are snap deals? Snap deals are a lightweight way of updating a committed capacity sector with uh, clients data. We leverage existing properties of committed capacity sector and use it to create a sector with uh, clients data. Storage providers can use an existing sector instead of sealing a new replica, which like it's a property that we were looking for since since uh, we launched uh, Falcon a year ago. The plan of release for this feature is Q1 22, and let's jump how it works, and then we'll look into uh, into what it pr provides in general. Uh, if you have any questions, please please leave them in the uh, QA section of the uh, of the orbit event. I will look at them at the end. So, how do uh, snap deals work? In essence, we are we encode clients' data into command, committed commands sector with module multiplication and addition. It's not a uh, easy to comprehend step, but uh, in essence, it works sort of like sorting data into the sector. We don't sort the pure data into the sector. We uh, randomize it first to preserve some properties of of uh, of sealed sectors. You can read uh, more about it in FIP nineteen. Uh, so uh, we pr perform the encoding process, and then uh, we prove the correct execution of the encoding on chain. So the primary way the uh, why the sealing process even exists, what uh, the uh, PORREP exists, is uh, we want to create a replica that's incompressible. That's what brings Falcon its security, and the update process has to pr preserve that pr uh, preserve that property. So the essential part is the raw I algorithm here. You can see it here. So uh, raw I is the randomness that mixes the data and doesn't allow it to reduce the uh, randomness and incompressibility of the sealed sector. Uh, the, the ideal algorithm for raw I would be pure randomness, but we cannot use it due to constraints around decoding the data later when client want to re retrieve it. We settled on bucketed randomness. So instead of having as many randomness values as there are nodes in a, in a sector, we limit the number of randomness possible randomness values. We knew about uh, the possibility of updating uh, committed capacity sectors for a while now, but we haven't pursued that. We pursued that opportunity, but we haven't released anything since uh, till now because we stumbled upon a major, major blocker, which was the randomness requirements of this process. As we talked, uh, as we just talked uh, in the previous slide, the randomness for the encoding process is very important because it preserves the security of the system and uh, of the system of updating the sectors and Falcon as a whole. So we are looking at two different. We 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 have two needs for for randomness. One is for encoding the raw as I showed you pre uh, previously, and the other is challenge generation, which which ha uh, which is used for generating challenges when miner wants to prove an update. The interactive random. Uh, normally we would use interactive randomness. We do it for uh, for example poor rep. During poor rep process, we use interactive randomness, and uh, this allows us. Smaller proof, but increases the delay. We need to wait for chain to be for sure settled uh, until we use that randomness value. The interactive randomness in this uh, in this case required two stages of interactive randomness, so it was introduced in three hours of delay, and this was uh, this was decided as a major blocker for this protocol because it wasn't as 
good as it could have been. We were able to reduce that, uh, remove that requirement of interactive randomness by cr uh, creating one, running resistant uh, encoding function, which I showed you previously, and two, uh, sorry, uh, grind resistant randomness uh, by, by using grinding uh, resistant uh, encoding function, which allowed, uh, allowed us to remove the interactive randomness for, uh, from the first stage of encoding. Uh, and a fiat transform transform uh, for the challenge generation uh, instead of generating uh, using interactive randomness for challenges. In essence, SnapDeals now is non-interactive one message protocol, which reduces the time it takes to execute on chain and also increases its resilience to disturbances and errors implementation on search provider sites and so on. What uh, does this give us? We get a, a possibility of onboarding users' data into a sector and proving it on chain in one hour. This, this is major improvement from previously five to six hours it takes to seal a new sector. And this one hour is not hard limit. As, as, uh, if, uh, whenever we improve the, uh, our uh, proving performance, the, uh, this time frame reduces. Uh, we skip the computational overhead of sealing. So if you have committed capacity sectors, you can include uh, the client's data uh, without resealing it, uh, resealing sectors, and also we gain a simple one message update protocol, which was a win in and of itself because implementation is way simpler and the integration on storage provider side is also way easier. The quicker onboarding of clients' data unlocks for new use cases, which were previously impossible due to the timeframes. So five, six hours is for some clients, it's uh, unacceptable, but now we'll have a protocol that allows us to onboard this data in, in an, an hour or less. And also storage providers can upgrade their, their existing sectors with fill plus deals without resealing to uh, increase their quality adjusted power by the factor of 10, which will be an amazing opportunity for many smaller and medium-sized miners who focus on on the client uh, uh, client side, side of things. Storage providers also gain the ability to reuse sector pledge collateral uh, without resealing. So uh, the current uh, the current update pathway was used by some storage providers because exactly this property. And in this case, it expands it and allows you, you to do it without resealing. Uh, many smaller miners uh, struggle with, uh, with uh, collateral, pay, uh, collateral requirements. And I, I can tell you, we are, look, look, uh, we are looking into uh, uh, storage provider lending programs and uh, storage, uh, storage provider insurance uh, insurances such that lending programs can, can become cheaper. Uh, another thing is we can, uh, search providers can onboard clients data with higher throughput, which is a win both for storage providers and the clients. Some, cl some very big clients have a lot of data to on onboard and the onboarding throughput is the major blocking for them. As we are not, uh, no longer, will, it will be no longer required to uh, compute the uh, complete replica and uh, seal complete replica to onboard clients' data onto the network. Uh, the, these resources can instead be used to uh, can be used to uh, update existing committed capacity sectors. So, in essence, committed capacity sector become a buffer for clients data uh, for future clients' data. So you can imagine miner building my, uh, storage providers building up the buffer and then using it to onboard client storage. Oh, and finally, most important of, of all, we unlock the 12 exabyte of uh, latent, latent storage on Falcon network. For reference, 12, 12 exabyte is enough, more than enough to store internal and archive 100 times over. And it's just unimaginable amount of data and this will unlock this potential. Uh, talking about the future, uh, we are uh, 
it's very much possible that uh, FIP19 will ship with sec uh, repeated sector updates. Uh, so you will be able to, uh, storage providers will be able to update the insert, uh, insert data, uh, deal data into a sector. And if that uh, deal expires or there's some, some still space in the sector, they can do that process again uh, to insert more data into that sector. Or, or if the data expires, then can re redo the update with new data or even same data. Uh, we are looking into next generation of proof of replication, which would allow this protocol to work, be even more lightweight and cheaper for storage providers and the clients, because clients at the end of the day uh, are uh, paying for, for storing that data. Uh, we, we are reducing, we are working on reducing proving overhead, as you probably heard, and I think there was talk about it, or there will be. We recently, uh, uh, there was recently a CUDA prover introduced, which reduced the time to uh, the comp computation of proofs uh, was reduced by about 40%, which is amazing. And we get even faster, uh, if we do these steps, we get even faster onboarding of users' data because. Uh, because uh, the primary overhead, primary time spent to onboard data with snap deals is, uh, is just getting approved then. Uh, yeah, 